Hello everybody and welcome to another video in this series on what to do in the first five minutes with an English literature anthology poetry question. Now let's imagine your named poem is Kamikaze and this is the question. Compare how poets present ideas about power in Kamikaze and one other poem. So the first thing to do is reread or scan through the named poem pen in hand and to annotate anything you can think of that might be relevant to this question. So for kamikaze, we might pick out the symbolism of sunrise in the opening line. Now, sunrise is an image we can, of course, link to the power of nature, but it's also a link to Japan, which is known as the land of the rising sun. A rising sun flag is used primarily by the military forces of Japan. So in this one image of sunrise, we see the struggle between the power of nature and the power of humanity. We might also pick out the quotation from the quotations rap, a tuner, the dark prince muscular. The regal imagery of the metaphor prince has connotations of nobility and majesty, emphasising the power of nature. Garland's use of structure also seems significant in exploring the theme of power. On the one hand, the poem has a very tight structure. All of the stanzas are made up of six lines, and this tight structure can be seen to reflect the tight control and power of the military and the human expectation of what the pilot should do, not just from the military leaders, but the family and neighbours who will go on to reject him. But to contrast this tight control, the poem is written in free verse and contains numerous examples of enjambment. Free verse is poetry that does not rhyme but follows the rhythms of everyday speech. Enjambment is where sentences flow onto separate lines and even separate stanzas, and we see both in kamikaze. The free verse and enjambment contrast the tight control we see in the length of the stanzas, and this freedom of expression reflects the freedom the pilot wants to have after considering the power of nature. The tension between human power, the military, family and neighbours, is contrasted with the power of nature through Garland's use of structure. So that rereading of the named poem will give me my concept. Kamikaze explores how the power of nature can challenge people's misguided notions about the power of humanity. Now with that in mind, I will then flick back to the list of poem titles which is provided in the question paper and think through each title one by one, considering which poem to compare with that line of argument. Now obviously you don't get the poems in the exam, but you do get the list of titles. And let me just point out, it's not that I will now think, OK, is there another poem that uses regal imagery, free verse and symbolism? No, what I want to do is think about my second poem in terms of the idea that humanity is not powerful, but nature is. The June 2019 exam report pointed out that students who led their analysis through ideas in the poem rather than methods tended to do much better. So that's why I want to follow this approach. So we go through the list and we think which poems compare well, and I think my best bet will be Extract from the Prelude, a poem where the speaker initially thinks they are powerful, describing their little boat as an elfin pinnace, a pinnace being a light sailing ship, the adjective elfin imbuing a sense of magic to the scene, the whole thing taking on this mythical nature reflecting how the proud speaker thinks they are powerful, but all of this falls away when the speaker sees the mountain and realises their own weakness and the power of nature. They describe it as, and again this is from the Power and Conflict poetry rap, a huge peak, black and huge. The ambitious vocabulary of Elfin Pinnace is gone as the speaker's wide vocabulary has eluded them to the point of repetition of the simple word huge. Now obviously I won't have extract from the prelude in front of me so I'm going to need to remember quotations and references but now I have my concept. Both kamikaze and extract from the prelude Prelude, explore how the power of nature can challenge people's misguided notions about the power of humanity. This is a two-part line of argument, and I'm going to perhaps spend the first half of my answer looking at the supposed power of humanity, and the second half looking at how the power of nature challenges that misguided idea. Everything in my answer then becomes part of the theory I'm exploring. Now, of course, I'm not saying this is how you would have to do it if a question came up about kamikaze and ideas on power. All I'm trying to do is show you the sort of process you might go through in that first five minutes. If you have a different idea, put it in the comments section. 
And just to finish, what if this was the named poem, but the question was about conflict, not power? Well, in that case, you might be able to write a similar answer about the inner conflict experienced when the pilot and the boat thief encounter the power of nature. If you found this video useful, please do subscribe to the channel and give it a thumbs up.